Hello everybody, welcome back to Ginger Ninja Gaming, I'm the Ginger Ninja 1251, also known as Marlo, and welcome to Marlo's Funky Friday, and welcome to something that I've done before, that has always bugged me. Um, there's a song that you won't be able to hear because I've muted the sound for this bit. This is something that I've wanted to do for a long time, but I couldn't, I didn't really want to as well because... <laughs> Because of the old video of this, it wasn't the best video, I'll admit. Um, but I'm here, and I'm going to do it again. I still haven't played it since the last video, but I'm here, and I'm going to play it again for a new Funky Friday that will be edited and amazing. Play. Wibbly wibbly. Right, now let's play the tutorial, because we didn't do that Welcome to time. Mission Control. If this is your first time here, just click on the briefing desk. Briefings? Yes, I clicked. You are now in charge of the International Space Station. Ooh. The success of this mission lies solely in your hands. The well, first module of the then. station has been launched and is in orbit. It is a Russian service module capable of supporting two astronauts. Cool. RSA has selected their man for this mission. It is up to you to select the right NASA astronaut to accompany him. Once they are aboard the station, you will need to manage their activities and the onboard equipment to maintain a livable environment. Right. Good luck. Thank you. To select our astronaut for this mission, click on the astronaut's desk. Uh, flags. Astronauts. Loading. Screen. On the appearance ah. page, you can create a unique look for every one of your astronauts. Really? You can create men and women with different body styles. You can vary their ethnicity and customize their hairstyle and hair color. Lastly, you can give each one a different uniform. Click on the words in the column on the right to step through each selection. When you are done customizing the appearance <laughs> of your astronaut, yes. click on the next button at the bottom right of the screen. Okay, thank you. Right, so... I want that pink hair. Right, so this is the person we're going to play as. Let's give him trousers, because I love wearing trousers. Trim. Yes. So that, that's our dude, apparently. Next. On the personality page, Whoa. you can define the character <laughs> strengths and weaknesses of each astronaut. Okay. You have 28 points to distribute among the seven personality traits. These traits determine how each astronaut behaves and relates to the other astronauts on board. After you have completed the psychological profile of your astronaut, Whoa. click on the next button. Be sure to use all 28 <laughs> points. Okay, thank you. Right, how many can you get in a thing? Is it 10? No. Two, four, eight, nine. 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 Right. Let's give double up. Click, click. This game hasn't got its boundaries. <laughs> it's not got boundaries or anything. It's very good. Um, wait, let's bump up the leader a bit. Uh, make him a bit more courageous. That one, make him workfulness, and that one. And then let's bump up those two. No, oh, that one actually. Ow. What the fuck just got. I don't know what that does. Um, sure. On the training page, you can select your astronaut's field of expertise, agency, really and personal identity. Mix and match their class, space agency, and name to build an astronaut who best complements your other crew members. Be sure and read their bio when you are done. Finally, click on the recruit button to launch your astronaut to the International Space Station. Okay, are we just gonna fire him up there with a slingshot? That should be like in the new series of Scrappy Junch, if they build one. I really want you to. Please do, because that'd be really useful. Right, um, science, astrotech. Uh, Major Thomas was born in Spokane in 1959 and graduated from the University of Washington in 1981 with a master's in mechanical engineering. He, he joined the Air Force, the US received his wings and in 19, became an astronaut. He serves on S... I don't know... Words. Um, what are the other ones? Yeah, let's be astrotech. Be NASA. It's a great job. Mario Armstrong reporting for duty. 
Houston, all systems show green and we are ready to go. You're on helium. It's a great job. Uh. Houston, all. It's a great job. You sound like a you sound like a villain from one of the Bond movies. Five, four, three, two, one. Look at the fans. This is called the station view. You can control the camera zoom, pan, tilt, and scroll with the mouse. Uh, right click and hold to move the mouse to pan and zoom. Uh, Left click and hold to scroll and tilt. The wrong way round. Excellent. You now know how to control the view of your station. Now let's take a look inside the station by clicking on it. Click. This is called the cutaway view. <laughs> you can control His the camera in cutaway the, the same way as in station view. Give it a try. Try rotating the camera to view the other side of the module. Look, it's floating. Look, it's Mohawk guy. Notice how the walls of the module cut away as you rotate to always show a clear view to the inside. Let's try working with one of these pieces of equipment. Near the middle of the module, you will see what looks like two canisters hanging on the wall. These are O2 candles. Move the mouse over them to highlight them and then left click. You have opened the wow. tasks that are available for this item. It really hurts. Highlight the task chip labeled turn on and left click on it. Mohawk guy, go over there and rub your nipples. You have assigned your first <laughs> task to an astronaut. <laughs> Sergey is now going to turn on the O2 candles. Yay for Sergey! Try moving the cursor around to highlight other equipment in the module. I am doing food locker. That is where we store the food. Now let's give a task to your NASA astronaut. Mohawk Click guy. on the forward or back arrows in the black box next to the astronaut image to select your NASA astronaut. Uh, click. Mohawk guy. Notice how when you changed astronauts the image and stats on the bottom left panel changed to show you the current selected astronaut. Cool. When you assign a task, it is always assigned to the current selected astronaut. Now let's have your NASA astronaut get something to eat from the food locker. NASA man, go to the food locker. Nom, get a hamburger. Good work. You now know how to assign tasks to astronauts. Notice how when you change astronauts, you can see the tasks they have assigned to them at the top left corner of the screen. Over there. You can assign more than one task to an astronaut, and they will perform them He's in the order in which they were assigned. He's spooning the food locker. Try assigning a few more tasks for your crew to perform. He's spooning like a piece of red thing. Like it looks if you do not assign a task, and they have nothing to do, they will pick something to do based on their needs and personality. What's that? Uh, let's go to... Your astronauts are motivated by their needs and desires. This is reflected by the nine horizontal green or yellow indicators just above the astronaut's name. An icon appears next to these to show the selected astronaut's most important needs without having to view the detailed stats screen. Now let's take a look at the detailed stats for this astronaut by clicking on the icon next to their image at the bottom left. Which one? That one? That one? Great! This is the detailed stats panel for Whoa. your astronaut. <laughs> Click on the forward or back arrows in the black box next to the astronaut image to select your NASA astronaut. Notice that the panel updates to show you the detailed stats for the current selected astronaut. All right. Now let's look at some of the station stats by clicking on the next page area of the stats panel. Sick. These are the station stats. Left clicking on the next page panel steps you through the stats for your station and back to the stats for your astronauts. All right. right click on the border of this panel to remove it. Dead. I am doing, or am I clicking on the wrong one? I didn't exactly listen to that bit. I'm just. Okay. Okay, it looks like the comm <laughs> system has broken down. Select it and assign the repair task to one of your astronauts. You can manage your astronaut's Sorry, task queue by clicking on thing. a task chip 
in the top left corner of the screen. Oh. This opens the task panel. Go away. This panel shows the name of the task, the object on which it will be performed, and the module it is in. No. To remove a task, right click on it. Try deleting tasks to get your astronaut to have the con system repair task at the beginning of his task queue. I did. Congratulations. You have just like completed the tutorial. From now on, the game will function fully. I recommend you go to Component Builder and follow the directions. Launch both a Toru and Exercise Bike. After that, go to Module Builder and begin constructing your station. RSA has completed work on a new Soyuz vehicle, yeah. and it is now available for launch. Okay. Yahoo! Yahoo! <laughs> I love this crew. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Mission control. Bladder status good. Over. <laughs> oh, this is broken. Well, I will fix it. Yes, Sergey, go fix something. What's up with it? Fix. Um, fix. Oh, this is broken. Fix. I'll fix it. Fix. Fix. Right, Sergey's on fixing you, my friend. Oh, this is broken. <laughs> Well, I will fix Go it. to this one and turn it on. Get rid of your copy. I'll turn it back on. Oh, you can use WSAD to move as well. They didn't tell you that bit. Maybe they did. I didn't even listen. I'm not good at listening. Um, uh, this is broken? Oh, am I meant to be doing something else now? Because I... Uh, oh, the thing. Go Z Z Z. So what now? We'll turn that on and we'll go back. Right. Okay, so what we're gonna do now? Mission control. Is do it ourselves. Over. Options. Could you repeat that? Mission control. That meal was excellent. Modules! Um, can we build stuff? Select the type yes. of module you would like to build. Home. Select the module you would like to build. That one. Select the vehicle you would like to use for launch. Uh, that one. Because it looks like a spaceship. Select the module you would like to build. Yes, we'll use that one. Select the type of module you would like um. to build. Select the module you would Wait, like to can build. build it? Can I build it? I want that one. Select the vehicle you would like to use for uh, launch. This one, please. This one. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Select the type of module you would like to build. Um, let's put... Select the module you would like to build. That, and then that, and then that. Use your agency flags to make this purchase. Let's get NASA to do it, please. Ow. Uh, let's also use Russian people. Uh, how much does it cost? Required flags, 200. What? Wait, what? Oh, so we're already paying for it. So we'll use the Canada's as well. Fifty, and then we'll also use Russian people. Get that up to fifty. Right now, configure. Select the location to connect this module to your station. There, please. I want to put it there, please. Launch. Done. Main engine start. Five. <laughs> Three, Look at the reflection! Two, one, zero. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the space shuttle while extending our reach while expanding our research in space. Wow. Look at the juice. Oh, yeah. Alert. What's the alert? You can launch up to four astronauts if you have enough escape vehicles. You can get a bonus astronaut by running nine levels of the same experiment and another bonus astronaut by running nine different types of experiments. Okay. You Whoa, sorry. Lights. Right, let's go inside the habitation. 
Chief, this is Capcom. The CO2 levels are getting too high. Try operating more CO2 scrubbers. Uh, RSA has completed work on a new Soyuz vehicle, and it is now available for launch. What's a scrub? How, how, do, ooh, O2. Turn on. Where are the scrubbers? Oh, hang on. JAXA ooh. has just completed construction on a new HTV, and it is now available for launch. Where are the scrubbers? How do I activate the scrubbers? Because I'm not going to, um, right, let's go back to... Uh, NASA. Go back to NASA. Go back to NASA. I want to create a new dude. Astronaut. <clears throat> On the appearance page, you can create a unique look for every one of your astronauts. Um, af, uh, Lister. Yeah, look, it's Dave Lister. Wah. <laughs> Uh, Hecala. <laughs> that needs to be brown, doesn't it? Yeah. Sure. Carry me to Titan. Right. You can define the character um, strengths and weaknesses of your astronaut. Really be sure to use all 28 points. It has no work ethic. <laughs> Uh, let's get them up. Select your astronaut's field of expertise, agency, and personal identity. Yep, that'll do. Right, that's this stuff. Five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition. And liftoff of the Soyuz rocket. Woo! Lister is in space. Enter. Mission control. I really have to go. Really. Well, was, um, Over. RSA has completed work on a new proton booster, and it is now available you. for launch. Go to the toilet. Go to toilet. Get rid of that. Oh, time for bed. Go away. Click and go away. No. Click off it. Oh, no, I clicked on the wrong person. Sorry. It's kind of lonely up here. Yeah, okay. Go to bed. I wish I could help. Uh, you. I could use a good night's you sleep. You go toilet. Lister, go toilet. I love that. Missing control. Uh, over. That's too bad. Uh, is he getting up now? Turkey, no. Actually, you gotta go sleep. No, not that one though. Get rid of that one. Uh, go sleep. Get rid of that. Play with Sergey. NASA has completed refit work on a shuttle. And it is now available for launch. Do you need good toilet? Good night, Sergey. See you on the other side. Go toilet, mate. After you've gone for a bath. I think I will take a shower now. Oh, you think? You think? Oh, you, you think? He's a tournament. I will use the facility okay, now. Good. You don't have to tell Chief, this is Capcom. We've got a warning light on the water reserves. Uh, RSA has completed work on a new Soyuz vehicle, and it is now available for launch. Can we have some more water, please? Oh, what's this? Mission control. Do you think I could dine yes, soon? Yes, go, go eat food. You, Lester. Chief, this is Capcom. Looks like we've got a critical condition with the CO2 levels. Well, I don't know how to deal with that. Um, Lister, go to the oxygen tanks and fix them. This food should hit the spot. Lister. Oh, whoops. No, go fix the O2 tanks. That meal was excellent. Go fix the O2 tanks, maybe that'll work. Terrific! I don't know how to fix this thing. They're gonna die, probably. I'm having trouble breathing here. You're gonna die. Don't worry. Um, how do 
do I how do I go back into the uh, NASA thing? Uh, ah, next page, please. Um. This is completely unsatisfactory. Uh, how do I? Ah, uh, bummer. How do I fix this? Huh, I better turn this off. He's 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 turning it off. Why is he turning it off? I don't know. So I'm probably gonna I'm probably about to kill those guys. We're flying currently above somewhere around the world. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the new video, uh, and I will see you later. Alligators, ta -ra.